Hi friends. Well, I heard about these uh, Bibling highlighters, journal, these uh, gel highlighters, and I had to try them because I have one that I use, that I got from the dollar store, gel highlighter, twistable, and then I um, had seen these and, you know, they were on the wish list that I was looking at, and so I thought, I'm going to try those. First of all, I'm not a fan of this case, even though I was kind of excited about it when it first came. But the zipper part is scratchy when you try to get your hand in and get them, and it's not quite big enough, so it just feels like a struggle to get them out of there. So, not a fan of that, but, um, I don't know, it seemed like a good idea, but I'm not sure about that. So these are the AccuGel Highlighters, and... <clears throat> They, we're going to do all color swatch on all of them. So how many do they have? Ten. And the reason why I was interested in these is because this is the book I take to church and I kind of take notes. And as you can see, this is all colored pencil. Usually I have this big colored pencil carrier thing that I have with me at church. And my bag. And I flip through all these colored pencils and find what I want. I even have a few Crayola push-up Crayola twistables and some gel pens and pencils and some metallic pens and stuff but that's kind of with me when I do this journal but occasionally I use this and so I was just going to try it out in this book because I like to add color around the words and these aren't smelly so they wouldn't be troublesome in that setting and so what I would do, I, I, what I do is I like to just kind of, to highlight the words more, I like to um, sort of go around them. So like I would, I would do something like this. So we're just going to try out this pink and then we're going to go make a swatch somewhere. And they're smooth and creamy. And um, I'm definitely not sure you could write over them. Well, we're going to try that too, but. You can also sort of spread them. I tried this a little bit before I turned the camera on. You can kind of spread them. It doesn't, it's not too messy, but it does seem to like make it so it might be easier to write over. So I'm gonna pick the page that doesn't have any writing and we're just gonna make a little swatch of them all. I don't think that they have names for the colors. Although one thing I thought was kind of clever about this was if you're in a Bible study person and you wanted to use their categories they've got a category for each color um, that was interesting and the other thing I didn't like is this sticker is stuck on there so bad that even when you take it off it's gonna be all sticky so I hate that all right let's try this Not, I'm not doing it in any specific... I'm kind of trying to do a little bit like what they're next to on the... Um, but I'm forgetting my rainbow at the moment. I'm going to save the green for last because I'm going to do the dollar store green next to it. And the dollar store, I think they had a green, a blue, and a... Whoops, that's the dollar store one. Hang on. I'll do the black. I like this because it's kind of just a nice gray. I really like this, that color. It almost looks silver. I think that's one of my favorites. All right, and then the dollar store one next to it. Somewhere between these two, so. Now, they just, they're really a waxy, they call them gel, it does kind of look like a gel. And it seemed like there's quite a bit of product in these. 
I didn't want to break it off, but I, I was able to twist it up quite a bit. So it's got some good product in there. Now I paid, I think I paid a dollar for this at the dollar store. And this was like $15 for 10 of them. So they're a little bit more expensive, but not that much more expensive than the dollar store. And you get a variety of colors. So I would definitely... Uh, want to use these and when I rub my finger across here these feel a lot less greasy than the dollar store one the dollar store one really feels much greasier um, and now we're gonna try to write on them Let's, this is my favorite pen Let's make sure it's got a good amount of ink yeah so all right so you can see when they get to the dollar store one you can hardly write on it at all but you can write on it a little bit well It just skips a little it's because it's waxy anyway um, so I just thought that might be helpful for you to get a peek at these the, the colors they come in and what it was like to try to write over them and what it looks like just on the page um, I quite like it so I'm definitely happy with this purchase and I'll be used putting them in my bag in my container which isn't this cool I really love this it's got a little handle it's got zippers yeah it's awesome all right that's what I wanted to show you thanks guys